Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on the Ilia Nightlight Bronzer. This is brand new-ish from Ilia. It has just been released in some new shades. I thought I would give it a go and try it out for you guys today. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. So guys, today I'm gonna to be trying out the brand new Ilia Nightlight Bronzer in the shade Songbird. This is a brand new shade from Ilia and they have just released in two new shades. Ilia are a clean beauty brand and they have a lot of natural ingredients in their products. I'm very excited about this actually. I've got quite a lot of bronzers and I don't actually have any clean, natural-ish bronzers. So I wanted to try this and see what it was like, especially as they have released it in some new shades I wanted to support and purchase them. So it is 33 pounds and 34 US dollars, 0.26 ounces and 7.4 grams. It comes in four shades. So they are the original shades Drawn In, which is a light tan, Novelty, which is a medium tan, the new shades Uptown, which is a medium deep tan, and Songbird, which is a deep tan. So I decided to go for Songbird, the richest, deepest one. It is a clean, talc-free, finely milled powder that delivers a natural bronze look. Buttery soft textures blend easily and can build from a natural sun-kissed glow to more dramatic payoff. Sun-kissed with a silky soft touch, this supremely buildable matte powder is finely milled with a subtle sheen for a luminous finish and a natural warmth that you can dial up in intensity for a stronger contour. It includes a built-in mirror for easy on-the-go application and it says it is a multifunctional bronzing powder, safe to use on eyes and may be applied to lids and anywhere else for a monochromatic look. I feel like I'm going to bronze up my eyes a little bit, give them a bit more depth, a bit more dimension. Excited about that. It says it is vegan, fragrance-free, recyclable packaging and gluten-free and the key active ingredients which are kind of good for you are jojoba seed oil which is a natural comedogenic oil that hydrates and nourishes silica beads which are a natural powder that creates a soft focus filter with a silky slip and matte mica which is a smooth mineral without the shimmer mica is a little bit controversial some people don't think it's very good the way it's sourced we actually wrote a piece on that in the slap app so you can find it in the slap app if you are intrigued about mica so i'm just going to get into it i'm going to show you guys some swatches show you the packaging then i'm going to get into a demo I'm actually really surprised by the Ilia one. It's a lot more red than I thought it was going to be. It's also a little bit more crumbly, weirdly. It does feel very silky and soft. It is like a powder, but it does have a creamy, creamy vibe to it, especially when you're swatching it. It's definitely red. It's as red as the Gucci one, and it kind of makes Fenty look brown. It is quite rich in pigment though, which I do really like, and it's very creamy in consistency, so I do like that about it. It comes in a really cute dusty pink box, it says Ilia on the front. The actual packaging itself looks pretty good. It, it has already got messy, it comes in like a very nude, natural colour, and obviously this is a bronzer, so you're going to get brown everywhere, which I kind of already have. Because of the matteness of the compact, it doesn't actually come off very easily. So it's definitely going to get a bit grubby, definitely going to get a bit messy. It's very soft, very silky. I'm intrigued by it. I do like the fact that it's got a really large mirror. And also the compact goes all the way flat. So if that is important to you, it does also go all the way back. It's not refillable. And considering this is like a clean, natural, greenish brand-ish 
you would think that they would try and make it refillable, but it's not, unfortunately. There is the slightest little bit of shimmer in the bronzer, but ever so slightly small amounts, but I think that's probably the Mika. Yeah, the packaging's okay. I feel like the color is quite cool and it works with the brand, but it does feel a bit basic. It's not that exciting, especially when you compare it to things like the Charlotte Tilbury or the Gucci. I'm just going to use my trusty Illamasqua brush, which I use for all of my bronzers. And I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, there's a lot of kickback. Really wasn't expecting that much kickback. It has definitely given a little bit of sculpting, a bit of structure, and it's definitely given some warmth as well. So I do think it's cute. The kickback is really intense on this. I mean, with every dab, it's like a huge amount is coming up. Okay, that's nice. I do think that's cute. It's definitely warmed up my face. It's definitely given it the warmth and structure and sculptingness I wanted. The kickback on this is intense and quite a lot, but I do think it's nice. It's got like a slight sheen to it. Definitely feels more like it looks a bit more creamy and soft focus. I do like that. I do feel like I can see soft focus vibes from it. I'm gonna put a bit on my bridge of my nose, which is kind of what I like to do. definitely very buildable I do really like that and it is nice and warm it doesn't feel too overpowering even though it is quite pigmented but it is quite soft as well definitely very buildable uh, but also fairly fairly chilled so I'm going to pop a little bit on my eyes to see how that looks and then I'm gonna give you final thoughts and just wrap up so I'm just gonna quickly pop a little bit on my eyes I'm wondering how this is gonna work with all the kickback I'm just gonna use one of my little blending brushes this is from Mac it is a 224s brush I do like this actually it's nice it's nice and warming it's quite natural it's quite chilled it is a bit messy with the kickback but I do still really like it it's very buildable which I like as well guys that is the Ilia night light is that what it's called night light bronzing powder I actually do really like this bronzer I think it's done a really really good job it's warmed up my face I didn't need any blush it's just a really nice all-in-one product it's given me a little bit of sheen I really really like it on the eyes I feel like it really brings everything together on the eyes and I definitely will be using it again as an eyeshadow and as a bronzer I think from the ingredient list it definitely is clean but it doesn't feel as natural as other things that are kind of in that natural clean green space the main active ingredients were just was just her hobe oil which is like the only thing that was really really good that they'd highlighted so i don't think you have to feel too guilty if you've got something like the charlotte tilbury or the benefit or the fenty because i don't feel like this tries to differentiate itself much more especially considering that the gucci and the charlotte they both have refillable packaging options as well so they're both actually trying in other ways to be sustainable and green and earthy and i feel like this one kind of missed a trick a little bit by not having a refill option i do think the color is nicer i am really happy that they did come up with two extra shades i feel like this shade would actually suit a lot of deeper skin tones i feel like it's quite rich and it can be built up to be quite rich and punchy it definitely is on the red side though so if you don't like reddish bronzers it's probably not for you but i think even if you're three or four shades deeper than me this will still work really nicely for you and i'm sure that they could definitely do another one to two shades rich as well but i do think as a richest shade this is good it's definitely deeper than something like the patrick tar or the, the chanel 
and compared to something like the Benefit, the Benefit Toasted, Hula Toasted Bronzer, it's actually much deeper than that as well. It's slightly, ever so slightly lighter than the Charlotte Tilbury, um, but it's actually richer than the Fenty Mokamami, so if the Fenty Mokamami does work for you, then this will definitely this will definitely work for you as well. So I do like that, I think that's really good and I'm glad they kind of had a think about it and actually brought out two new shades uh, that would really work for people who are deeper skin tone. So I think that's good, I'm happy about the shade, I really like the way it looks on my skin. The kickback is quite intense but it's not the end of the world, it doesn't make it harder to apply, I just dab it out on my hand, which is what I do with bronzer anyway because it kind of stops me from getting a bit OTT, but I really like this. I think it's really buildable, really, really nice, really warming, very summery. I feel like I'm going to the beach. It completely transformed my face, and I think it's a really good all in one product. It's definitely something I would just bring on holiday with me and not feel the need to bring like a blusher or anything else. So I do like this. I think it's really nice, really great product, really nice finish. It's got like a creamy vibe, it doesn't look too powdery, it doesn't look too heavy. And it's just pretty, it's cute. Even though it does swatch red compared to other bronzers that I have, I don't feel like it looks overly red on my face. £33.34, and US dollars. I don't feel like that's a bad price. The packaging's a bit basic, but it kind of gives me like summer holiday villa vibes. So I think it works uh, for the brand and for the actual product. The only problem is it's going to get quite messy and covered in brown fingerprints, but that's fine. So guys, that is it. That's my finished look. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap. Family, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.